You guys don't understand how close we were to not actually shooting this review. That is how cuck glass is actually. Glass is so bad that, you know, after you watch it, you wake up the next morning with a hangover. <laughs> That's how bad glass is. Glass is the equivalent of getting dick safe, except you didn't get dick safe. Yeah. You just watched this cuck movie. So yeah, Shyamalan, my bro, I think, I really think you got too safe with um, how everyone was getting stave for split. Mm -hmm. So everyone got stave for split, so then he got stave. Yeah. Man. And then he thought, okay, you know, let me cash in on this. And then he came out with glass, but I mean, I think everyone's haters are beginning to wane. It dwindled. Some dwindled, some, yeah. I mean, me personally, mine has actually gone concave, like it's pulled into my body. Like you took too much ecstasy or something. And something like that. that that's, how, that's what glass has done to me. Part of class. Oh, absolutely. He, no, 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 no. 
just the way, I mean, when an actor takes on a role, he completely, you know, epitomizes that person, that role that he needs to, mm. you know, portray. And that's hard enough. But for him to take on what, 24 personalities something ridiculous. and give it his all, he was absolutely brilliant. He doesn't have to audition a day in his life because they are played a nine year old lady, they are played a 60 year old woman. He's actually, <laughs> he, he's actually, he's, it's, this has been an investment on He's invested in his career because, like you said, they can just, you'll just say, look, go and watch that. Movie. Go watch that stuff. I don't see know. how many characters are going to play. Shyamalan has put together a film that has very little ambition. And tries out a few techniques, filming techniques, that really belong in film school. I mean, what the fuck is up with all those POV shots, my friend? Ooh. Like, no one. Is this amateur hour, DJ? Uh, it certainly seems like it. In a nutshell, the final product won't kill the career of any of its actors. Mm. I mean, even through Kofarik. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's only Sarah Paulson that I can't fucking stand. Mm. Yes, it's something about that girl. That <sighs> I've tried to like her. I like in certain roles, Bird Box, she was alright. And she was okay in the first season of American Horror Story. Yes, yes, yes. And a little bit in American Crime Story. Right, right. With, crime uh, story. Yeah, with yeah. OJ's normal. But outside of that, I actually I kind of loathe the I woman. Know, yeah. As, she, an act, as an actor, of course. I'm pretty sure she's I, a nice lady or whatever. Yeah, I don't want to sound like a dick, but she, there's something repugnant about her. The point I'm going to make is this film is not going to kill anyone's career yeah. in the acting department. No, no. It just might kill Shahamalans though. Mm. PJ, it's that time, give it a score. No problem, Matthew. Boys and girls, from my side, 4 out of 10, don't bother. For me, 5 out of 10, yeah.